finished with the sandpaper mandrel and we've got a really, really nice smooth surface here. And again, probably not going to enhance any performance. Uh, just going to keep carbon deposits from sticking to it. The next thing we're going to do, this pour is basically done at this point, um, other than the chamfering of the pour on the inside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cylinder, flip it back around, and we're going to do the final on the intake side of the cylinder. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the final grinding on the intake side of the cylinder. Um, you can't really see on the other side, but the line that was scribed that I ground to is perfectly level with this. So what I'm going to do is, looking from the inside, I'm going to use my grinder, come down, cut this equal to the base of this part, and I'm going to round it off into the boost port, and then from there we're going to touch up some casting floss. I'm going to use a uh, single cut carbide burr for this, and one thing you really want to be careful of is not to touch this gasket surface. So I'm checking this and I'm making sure that this that the chuck isn't going to come in contact with the cylinder. And then we're just going to start grinding it. Now I have a uh, I have my angle on the back. I can see it. You can't. But I know where I want to be when I end up with this. And it's going to grind straight until I get down to this boost port surface. We finished our blend here. We had an angle that went in this way. We just kept cutting down. And as we suspected, what John's template did is it brought uh, the skirt um, equal to the boost port here. So what we're going to do, and he doesn't say to do this in his manual, but just from seeing 8,000 dirt bike cylinders, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off next. And I'm just going to take the jig, flip it up, and I'll show you how we do that. Uh, I'm going to use a flame tip for this. And again, I've got my little high dollar container full of kerosene here. And I'm just going to round this off and break this shock edge. Again, really not a lot of pressure. Just take your time and just kind of blend in a nice way to this here. Alright, I finished this port up. As you can see, you know, from the last shot, it's a lot cleaner. Blended a nice radius around this way. Um, could probably go a little deeper, and I probably will, to be honest with you. Um, but instead of just being flat in here, I've got a nice blended radius up into the boost port here. Next thing I'm going to concentrate on is casting flaws inside of the transfer ports and uh, up inside the boost port. The other thing we want to do is we want to match port this boost port to our new gasket. Okay, all of these different companies, Polaris, Yamaha, Suzuki, Honda, all of these guys, uh, they all have different processes as far as forging these cylinders. Some are better than others. This is a pretty clean cylinder, I gotta say that. Polaris does a nice job. But there's always going to be imperfections in these castings. Um, this particular casting, what I'm looking at is right in here, I get a lot of lumps. And again, we talked about little things that really don't mean a whole lot, but when you do 20 little things, it adds up to extra horsepower and it can be the difference between winning a race and losing a race. So what we're going to do is we're going to examine this cylinder. I'm not going to go in and change any of these dimensions. Um, I'm not going to, this is actually a really nice contour. I like it, but I am seeing casting imperfections in here and we're just going to really examine the cylinder and lose all this stuff by grinding it up. 
Um, when you get into these corners, another thing you don't want to do, if you don't have the right size bit, it, it's wrong to go in here and just start grinding this and making a big radius in here. You don't want to do that. You want to try and maintain um, you know, your factory angles and everything else. So I've got a really small bit and I'm just seeing little pimples inside of this cylinder. That's going to roll your air. The air does not want to see anything like that. You want to keep your air going in nice and straight, no rolling, uh, no gas buildup, anything like that. So we're just going to go in and start taking these out. Um, doesn't Sometimes when you go in here and making holes bigger, always making them bigger is not the right thing to do. Uh, it depends what you're doing, but there's certain applications where you'd want to do that. But uh, you, you don't want to really change a lot of stuff. You just want to get rid of all the junk. Um, I actually just got off the phone with uh, John from Race Logic, and he's going to be offering his porting services to serious people. Uh, don't call him and say you want your cylinders ported for fifty dollars because you're going to insult him. He's not going to want to talk to you. But uh, John does do this cylinder porting. We do it as well here at Ken O'Connor Racing. Uh, John's got extensive ex experience with all makes and models. He's a, he's a genius. I mean, I can't think of any other way to describe him. But um, what we're going to do on this step here, we're going to go in and take out all of the factory defects, and that's it. We're not going to go in and start opening up ports and polishing things. It's, you just don't want to do that stuff. So I'll show you what we got when we get back. I went ahead and I cleaned up all my casting flaws. Um, this cylinder was excellent. It wasn't even really that bad, but we took care of it anyway. Uh, again, little things mean a lot. When I take my gasket and mount it to the cylinder, you can see this ridge right here. Here also. And what I'm most concerned about is right here. And this is all, this is all power that's just waiting to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the cylinder down, put some uh, dicom on it, blue it, and then go ahead and trim this right to the edge of the gasket. The other part that you're probably not going to see on this video is I'm going to do the same thing to the uh, cylinder. It's called match porting. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and blue this and then uh, cut this out. I did the, um, the match port to the gasket, and again, you know, it's a really steep angle in here, and we'll blend in, but as you can see, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement here, also on the transfers, and as I said earlier, we're going to do this to the cases as well, but we're going to take this, and I'm going to blend this in uh, about 10 millimeters, just like we did on the uh, exhaust port. Okay, the blend on the uh, port match is complete, and I uh, dropped it in, got everything nice and tight. This port right here had some pretty serious casting flaws in it. I went up with the uh, three inch bit, all the way to the top, and removed all the slag that was in there. 